19 foot prelude salvo swing kill this is a job removing the swing kill and replacing the wire and a new pin first of all you get in the boat and you disconnect the center housing and get the pin out holding that drum and that worm and wheel in place is a keyway on the worm and wheel with a little centralizing screw opposite it that doesn't actually go into the bar and on the drum is an allen key down in that hole there in the center and there's a drawing of it there's the keyway there that sinks into it there's the center of the pin and there's the hole that the um, allen key goes into anyway after having removed the swing kill center pin you then jack the boat up with as you can see cradles underneath it and you just jack it up and up and up front back front back with two jacks mine you can see the two jacks there and uh, raise her up until she comes off the kill the first bit the actual pin bit is a dollar it comes as you can see it's dropped but the end of the wire goes on to which is then we've got to get it visible to be able to replace the wire there is the hole there's no bush nothing that's just a cast iron cast in with a hole in it and the bar goes through it so as you can understand that's wore quite a bit on this old boat but as I say the back end takes a little bit more jacking up to get it up now what you don't show you on this video is where that pin goes I've actually marked it vertically down and the bottom of the boat where the pin was in line with yep it looks all precarious but it was fought out it was safe and there's a cradle in the middle you notice our kid knocked up quick just to hold it the kill once it drops out it needs holding in place while you um, replace the wire so it's, as you can see it's safe enough or we wouldn't let the dogs under there and if you notice the legs on the side of the boat that hold the boat level when it's parked up we've got them down and eventually on blocks of wood just as a stabilizer to give us that little bit more back up as you can see the blocks we kept changing the blocks to get the balance right and we got it all in the end it was safe anyway we had a break the brother was off down the beach looking for more wood while well, I made the kettle and we had a nice brew up yeah we had a good day anyway struggling for that last few inches to get that end of the kill out that the wires hit it to to fit a new wire a funny story here it says at the beginning of this a job you don't want to do twice well I'm afraid we did because my brother bought the crimps and the wire and when we was crimping it with my tool I said to him oh you're right somehow and uh, as soon as we tried lifting it up on a winch the, the actual crimps pulled out and what it was it was the wrong crimps for the wire but uh, we used my crimps that I know for my tool and the next day we dropped it again and done the job again as I say it's a job you wouldn't want to do twice it's also a job that before we did it we looked around online trying to get some help and advice but there was no to talk about it but nobody actually showing anyone doing the job in a simple and easy way that an everyday Joe in the street like me and my brother Richard could do it was a good job it was teamwork you couldn't um, do it on your own there's the wire going back in we're sorry, knocking it off to get the old wire off now. Knocking the pin out as a split pin. And that cast iron fit in, there it is. It's only the end of the wire because we cut the wire from the top obviously. So that's the wire fitted, or, or sorry, defitted, took off. Now to fit, fit the kill and get a few barnacle bills off first. There's my crimping tool. So say we crimped the wire the first time and I said to my brother at the time, I said, it don't feel like it's... <laughs> Normally I, I swing on these, I do these for my life to fly my angliders. And uh, I said, it don't feel right somehow, but next day it did drop off and we knew it won't right. So we went back to the car the next day and we got crimps out my van. Crimps that I know and we done it with my crimping tool and my crimps. Okay, after the wire's fitted, you've now got to put the drum and the wheel and the pin back in. This little bit's awkward because that... Um, worm wheel there has got, a, uh, as I showed you in the picture in the beginning, it's got a keyway on it. 
Yeah, sorry we didn't show you fitting the actual kill back up in. But as we lowered the boat, we also levered the kill up in to get it into the boat first and put the pin in. This we done with a mirror. And uh, after a bit of fiddling, it actually went in. We didn't put the bronze bush back in. We put a new bush in, stainless steel one, slightly bigger. That uh, took up all the wear on the inside bushes and on the... Um, hole that goes through the kit itself. There's the worm wheel. That's got to go in and you've got to drop it down in that gap. You've got to push the pin through. The drum there just gets held in place with a screw that goes into uh, a hole on the bar. Now this, as I say, you've got to get the cap back on. But the first time we put the cap and the top back on after putting the worm and wheel in, it was stiff. So you do need to concentrate on getting that worm and that worm spline center so as the drum turns easy and then once you've that's not blood by the way it's, it's grease we put loads of grease there's no grease on the drum side on the wire side don't know why but there you go but anyway then once we got it all done we actually rolled the wire and take up the slack there's me brother taking up the slack <laughs> and me holding the wire nice and tight and of course, once we had the wire tight, we was then able to lift the back end of the kill with the wire while we jacked the front end up with levers that I showed you just now until my brother could see with a mirror through, through the inside, the opposite end to where he's working now to line the pin up. The pin was fiddly, 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 and all of a sudden it went in. Sorry, finally, I didn't spell that right. I shall see if I can correct it. Anyway, there's the kill going down a little bit. And on then it. slightly back up a little bit, fully locked. All we'll have to do now is to Pick remove the jig him, that held it in place. And boat's job done. They say it's not a job you want to do twice, so get it right the first time. The so after up tidying now. up, we are now ready and now for the next day. Make sure you've got, got plenty of lumber before you get into this job or you will be no in lumber. Water. The next day, as I say, was due to be sunny, so I'm going down my boat and taking the battery out of the boat and putting it on the back of the boat and running big power leads through. There's the job done. Next day, our kid's going to do his kill. And it was a sunny day the next day. I got uh, sunburnt, but it was windy, which didn't help. But the yard is a job, as I say. I hope this helps somebody else. As I say, you need lots of lumber and tools nice job. and a partner that works well with you otherwise you'll get nowhere you've got to um, play it together and it can be that dangerous otherwise i really hope this video